Well, we've got a new league season starting now. It's all coming thick and fast. First a league game, then a Champions League game. Because why the devil not? Smash the like button now. I want to see if we can get, like, ten likes. Ten likes would be good. Let's, let's see if we can achieve that. Ten likes. We can do this together, guys. And let's get into the game. So you've literally missed nothing. We've played no games since the last episode. We've played the two Champions League games, which were the uh, the last couple out there. I uh, don't know why all that's still showing there. Um, we played the two Hapoel Bear Shaver games. Uh, we're now going to play Vista Krakow, and then we're going to play Sudova. So that's how that's going to go. And we're going to get straight into the game, so it should be a quick old episode today, which we like. We like a quick episode. So... Uh, starting lineup for today, we've got Kushak in goal, Dankowski, Puerto, Raggett and Stiglech at the back. Uh, Longstaff and Ledley in the middle, Masonda, Slattery, Pachetta, uh, and then right up up top. Uh, Williams, Holovnia, Rakic, Finson, Lashas, Samiak, Tala and Jankovic. Apparently I've got two uh, I can still pick two more subs. Oh, this will be interesting. Uh, two more subs, who do I want in there sub-wise? Uh, I feel like, let's get rid of the youth and reserve team, it's because if they were good enough to be in the team right now, they'd be in the team right now. Uh, let's put Guajis and Arce on the bench, because we need to have a look at them. And that gives us pretty much cover in every position on the field, except for in goal. Um, if that works, there is an argument, of course, for starting Arce. He is technically better up top, up in that position, than... Uh, Pachetta, do I? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make that work. And is Guardius better at right on the right wing at inside forward than Masonda? Uh not yet. Okay, we'll do that. We'll give Archie a chance, uh, and then we'll see what we can do with the others. Right. Let's uh oh must be one Polish under of course there must be one Polish under Ah, Placetta doesn't count anymore. Le Chasse might. Where do we make the least loss by making a change? Uh, Le Chasse, probably not. Uh, Slattery, Holovnia doesn't even count anymore. Uh, what have we got here? Realistically, we're going to stick Le Chasse in for Slattery. That will make that work. Um, Slattery's a better player than Masonda. But he also doesn't perform quite as well. Why am I doing that? Le Chasse, that's what I was going for. Le Chasse, there we go. Uh, but Le Chasse does seem to occasionally show up and perform. And it would be good for his development because he could turn into an actual top quality player for us. Uh, we've got Arche, do I, do I have another 11 shirt? Free, I don't. Uh, let's just auto number. Perfect, okay. Whew. It's the trouble when your babies all all grow up. You just, you know, things move on. So, uh, I literally had a look before I started recording. They've made no signs. It's pretty much the same Vista Krakow team we played last season. They've not bought anyone. They've not sold anyone of any significance. So it's the same Vista Krakow team we played last season. I must have recorded an episode with Vista Krakow. I'm going to shut the league table down because I don't need that up right now. We're not at that stage in the season. We'll hope we'll start this season with a win. That will be good. The league season needs a win to start off with. And then we can hopefully make another win in the Champions League. That would be the goal. That would be the aim. Right, Joe Ledley's got a corner. Ten minutes in. Whips it over. Who's on the end of it? Akira Wright's on the end of it. A second goal of the season. Second, Two goals, two matches. If he can get a goal a game this season, that would be absolutely magical. Um, for a lad I brought in on loan just because I needed players under, you know, who could play football last season um, he came in from Bayern Munich did a great job so I kept him and he's becoming a bit of a hit I've been critical of him there, there are times he goes a few games without scoring and I get a little bit critical of him but honestly the boy can perform but uh, Sadlock now has the ball on the left wing so we need to be on the defensive now can we get rid of it the ref's given a foul but wants to consult VAR oh, I don't need Raggett getting booked given the penalty though let's make the save let's get a save out of this old man Kushak can he get a save 
he can't. He can't quite reach it. And Savicevic has scored for them equalised. So let's do a get creative shot. And we'll see if we can maybe get ourselves back into this game. It's looking like a really good start, but... Like I said, we have to be uh, we have to be a little bit guarded against complacency this season because the last team that won the league went down, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, Puerto has got the ball. We're going to get a, a goal straight from kickoff because that'd be magical. Dankowski with the ball forward to Lachas. Lachas needs to make a real choice here. He's found Masonda. Masonda back to Lachas. What can we do? Ball over the top to Dankowski. Can he get on the end of it? He has made it. Can he get a cross in? He can get a cross in. Akira Wright gets his second goal of the game, his third of the season, and he's heading well into being a a proper goal machine now. Something about the tiny change that made the system, putting it back to the, the system that was really successful last year, is finally finding in some goals. And that's really good to see. The Masonda Lashar combination there was really good. Found Dankowski. Ball out on the wing. Good cross in. Akira Wright. Leaps like a salmon, beats two guys, and puts it into the net. And that's that's as good a response as you could have hoped for. Let's um, let's demand more from them. Why not? Masonda just kind of watched that for no reason. Wachikowski, um picking up the ball far too easily. And the ball's gone over the top to Chuka. He must have been offside, but Kushak gets a hand to it anyway. Looks like the liner was signalling for offside, but I'm guessing that was the corner. Um, you can't really tell. It'll be fine. Clemens now with the ball. Sad look. We cannot cannot get complacent against these guys. Like we just we can't do it. Um, but you know we're we're pressing them. Bukalik though picked up the ball. Ball for, big ball forward to Chuka again. He must have been offside. Kushak saves it anyway. And hopefully we'll get it clear and be able to build from the back here. We don't. But Stiglitz was on it, and that's that's all good. Things are looking fine so far. Ah, uh, I feel like I want to tell them to get creative again and see if they get creative again. Uh, it's inspired some people. Arche is pressured. Pressured is not what I want, son. I'll bring Placetta on. I'm not afraid to use him, especially if you're going to be a, do it. Pull a six point four on me. That's unacceptable. Uh, Dankowski to Longstaff. What can we do here? Can we get a ball in? We can. Longstaff with the ball. Oh, I thought Akira Wright had finished his hat-trick in the first half, but not quite, not quite so close. He's definitely motivated, though. That's what we need to see. Oh, it's a good performance so far. It's a really good performance so far, and things are looking okay. They're looking okay as we try and defend our title as best we can. I'm very aware, by the way, I should have gone to a Gagan press to meet their requirement of a, a pressing system. But, no. Frankly, was the answer. I'm sure if I win the title again, they won't complain that I didn't start pressing too much. Uh, Arche is having an absolute mare on the left wing. He just doesn't care. Uh, so we're going to send Placetta on back into his regular position. And forget that ever happened. Stiglitz is getting tired as well. So is Joe Ledley. So we'll keep an eye on them. Masondra isn't exactly having the game of his life either. You know, and we do have options. Like We've been weakened slightly with the loss of Mason Bennett. But we do have options to come in there and make changes if we need to. So it's not, you know, it's not quite the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to take off Stiglitz because he's tiring. I don't want anyone tired at the back. Plus, Holovnia needs to get some game time. Um, then we're going to make a choice between Dankowski and, the, and Masonda and all sorts of people about who the next go off. Joe Ledley is fired up, so he is not coming off. That's an absolute fact right now. Uh, we're still not fully match fit, I don't think. A lot of players tiring very early. Uh, Joe Ledley is about to take a corner, so we'll, we'll make the judgment on whether he comes off after we score here, hopefully. Ledley with a corner in. Who's he looking for this time? He was looking for Raggett. Raggett heads it just over. Uh, it's going to be... It's, it is time for a change. I think... Who's underperforming is the question. Raggett's underperforming, but expectedly so. so let's have a look at Guardius, shall we? Let's have a look at let's have a look at Sami Ektalar because Sami Ektalar can play inside forward. Can he play inside forward and attack? He can. All right. Let's see if we can give ourselves an extra attacking player inside the box because 
if we can do that, that would be very, very useful. Holovnia, ball over the top into the middle of the pitch by two Longstaff. I will learn to speak English soon, one day. Puerto to Dankowski. Dankowski's got options, but he puts it back to Puerto, back to Dankowski. They're just, just a, keeping the ball, just keeping possession. Ball all the way back to Kushak. Probably not necessary, but the ball goes to Raggett, and we can keep possession here all day if we need to. Joe Ledley to Longstaff. Longstaff, where's he going to put it? Back to Puerto, ball over the top. And he's given that one away to Sadlock, and now Savacevic is going to try and hit us on the break. Got a lot of guys back, but... I don't know, I don't know. That was an awesome ball over the top, frankly, to Schmel. And uh, Holovny will be the one that gets that away after the save from Kushak. Kushak must be on course for a Man of the Match award soon. If he keeps playing like this, I mean, he's kept us in the game. Absolutely kept us in the game. Let's uh, concentrate for just the last few minutes. Because I don't want anyone to mess around too much. Uh, and hopefully a little bit of concentration will get us home and dry and ready for the next game. It has. That's a 2-1 win to start the season. Where does that put us in the league table? After one game, we're top, but only, you know, four games have been played. So let's not get too excited by that just yet. And, uh, yeah, there's our first win of the season. Hopefully we can start to build something from there. Uh, Arche was not great at all. Let's not pretend he was. Uh, pleased with the result for sure. Akira's winning goal must have had an impact on the rest of the squad. It did. Uh, technology, uh, I'm not going to have an opinion on that one. Uh, Josh Grant has been on trial for a couple of weeks. We'll figure that out. Uh, working team slash might were praised by Vitislav Lavica. Must bring you some satisfaction. It's nice to hear. Good work. And we're going to praise Akira Wright because that's what we need to do. He was superb in front of goal. Got himself two goals, so that's what we need. And uh, I think we're going to come back for the next game immediately. So stay tuned. So let's do match number two. That's a good idea, isn't it? We are playing Saduva from Lithuania. We're at home. Um, this is the second qualifying round of the Champions League. Uh, we've got five players. I mentioned Matty Longstaff's out and Luka Ratchet is out. And I don't think I've changed either of those guys in my team. I haven't. So let's just quickly do that. Uh, for Matty Longstaff, the obvious replacement would be Carlos Sanchez if he was actually signed. But he hasn't signed his contract yet. Uh, Diego Zivilic is going to come in there because I don't see a good reason not to. And then I need a centre-half to go on the bench for Ratchet and uh, it's going to be Hipper. Because why not? Loney for Loney. It's good actually that most of our bench is loan signings. They've not added much to the team, but it's a sign of where we've kind of come up in things anyway. Um, so Kieri right now, one thing player as an advance forward again. Okay, whatever. Uh, so, we've got Kushek and Gold, Dankowski, Puerto, Raget, Stiglitz, Zivilic, Ledley, Masonda, Lishas, Placetta and Wright, with Williams, Holovnia, Hipper, Finson, Jankovic, Talmar and Slattery on the bench. Um, I can actually swap those guys back around, I've just realised, because I don't have to have anyone who is under 22 on, my, on the field, uh, so I'm not going to. Uh, <sighs> I say I'm not, it's not like I've got anything against them because of their age. Um, it's I want the best team I can put out there, and Slattery is the best of the uh, players I can put out there. That's what's going on right now. Um, anyone in their team that we recognise? Renan Oliveira, is he a famous human? Uh, maybe in Brazil. He's got 620 caps, so he must have been good at some stage. Uh, Pusic, Domagoj Pusic. Um, Nope, it's not the one I was thinking it would be. Anyone there really stands out? Jankowskis. I feel there's been a Jankowskis in every Lithuanian team forever. That's not the one that's played in Scotland, is it? No, it's not. Uh, okay, no one no one massively stands out. That's the important thing. They've got two goalkeepers on the bench. They, they may not have a very big squad. They have two keepers on the bench. We have one. So if Kushak gets hurt, maybe we can borrow one. Because that, that's, that's how that works. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Zivilic hopefully will put in a performance. The absolute amount of long stuff is sure to be felt. I would rather have had him available because obviously he'll be back hopefully for the second leg though. So let's just hope we can get past it. If we win this tie, by the way, the this round of the Champions League, we get uh, VSC or something from Finland 
or we get young boys from uh, Switzerland. So that was the draw. I didn't show it to you because it it doesn't tell you who you're actually playing. It just gives you an either or situation. It'll, I imagine it'll be young boys um, because it's the Swiss league is better than the Finnish league, and they're the champions of each league. So that was my logic for that decision. That prediction. Uh, Dankowski though picks up the ball on the right hand side. Ledley to Masonda. Masonda's going to get an extended run of, perform of appearances this season, so he needs to really, really step up his game. A carry of right to Placetta. Placetta back to Ledley. What's Ledley going to do? Is he going to try Zivilic out? He's not. Doesn't trust him. A carry of right to Slattery. Slattery ball through to Masonda. Masonda straight in with a goal. Second goal of the season. He's loving this Champions League. He's scoring all the Champions League goals. That's his plan. He's going to be the top scorer in the Champions League told me that before the game and I was like bro you fill your boots because um, to do that we'd have to get to the group stages and you'd have to keep scoring so you keep it up right uh, Masondo with a goal 1-0 up early doors 22 minutes in gonna show us it was such a good goal that's gonna show us all the replays he was never offside absolute fantasist um, good work let's do some praising for that praise that like we should I uh, fired up by the praise a little a couple of them um, it's been fairly dominant so far though Dubikis has got a corner in only as far as Kusha which means this can't be the end of the highlight are we going to go to the other end and score again you never know, stranger things have happened ball over the top uh, we found Placetta Placetta on the left wing he has nobody in support, nobody at all Akiri Wright is there though, finally joins him has a pop, Akiri Wright gets his fourth goal of the season he's scored in what, every single game so far more or less Oh, good boy. In fact, no, he can't have scored in every game. It's the fourth game we've played this season. It's his fourth goal, but he scored two in the last game. Maths. Um, either way, he's finally finding his form. That's the third game in a row for sure he's scored in. We're 2-0 up against Saduva. Uh, you feel like a third goal would probably kill off the tie, much less the game. Um, so we're just going to have to hope. we have to see if we can do something with this. Because, you know, it would be nice. It would be very nice. Let us uh, demand more from them. Because they will understand that it is important that we get a big, as big a margin in this first game as we possibly can. I've got two big games coming up between it, coming up after this as well. The second leg of this and the Super Cup, which we're expected to win. Um, and given the choice, I'd rather rest players for the second leg than I would for the Super Cup. Uh, but to do that, to do that, I'd need an absolutely insurmountable margin in this game because I am not just I am not risking the Champions League for a Super Cup, and I definitely can't have these players do both because they'll have played four games in about fifteen days if I do that, and that's not ideal. Talking of making sure they stay fit, though, uh, Dankowski is starting to tire, so we're going to take him off for Nico Williams. Uh, we are going to take off Joe Ledley and send Finson on. That's a good choice. And then we'll keep an eye on the others. See if anyone needs to come off or start underperforming. They shouldn't do just yet. Although it's nice to know we did, we've got so many options on the bench now. It's, this is more options than I've ever had at this club. Um, like you saw last season, I was basically the same 11 with the same subs. It's pretty much every game. Dubikas with a free kick. Let's try and get rid of it. <sighs> off the line by Sean Raggett. Good work, but only as far as Topkajic. Uh, and then he's lost the ball. Williams got his foot in. They've got themselves a corner. But hopefully it won't do anything with the corner. That would be the dream scenario. Uh, Dubikas is going to take the corner, though. Whips it in. Can someone get it clear? Uh, Topkajic, or whatever his name is, has just headed the ball over the bar. Couldn't do anything with it. Slattery is looking complacent, but he, actually he needs to perform. I need to start seeing some performance from him because I have no problem with leaving Le Chasse in there. That's not an issue for me long term. Um, let's encourage them. That's a good idea. We'll encourage them. We'll see, we, see if we can get them to maybe consider scoring a third. If not, they're all going to have to play a lot of games. Um, which is not the dream. Uh, right, we found Segedas. Uh, we've, we've managed defending. But not really, because Zivilic can't really just hoof a ball away from a guy once he's taken it. That would be too easy. Uh, Pusic 
out wide. He's got plenty of time. Ball in. Oh, no, he should never have got to that, but Kushak has saved it. And uh, they've got themselves another corner. And we're going to see what goes on from this corner because, you know, we need we need something. We well, first of all, we need the clean sheet. That's priority number one. But I'd like to hit them on the counter, and maybe get ourselves a goal. Zivolic uses his head to get it clear, but he's only cleared it as far as Segedis, the man who took the corner, which is not ideal. Brucic and uh, they're frustrated by being encouraged, so we need to make some changes, I think. And. Uh, Feels like Puerto might be the man to come off. Uh, we'll send Hipper on. He likes a big game. This is definitely a big game. I'd rather shore up the defence and take the 2-0 than let them get an away goal. That's my thinking. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, Slattery's not having a great game, but... You know, defending is way more important. We've got a 2 0 win. That should see us nicely into the next episode. Um, so, yeah, next episode we'll be playing LKS Lutz uh, in the Super Cup final, and then we'll be playing the second leg of this game. So stay tuned for the next episode, which will come up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully things will start looking good. Uh, right, guys let's do that whole end of the video thing we do so uh, if you enjoyed that video please hit the like button subscribe buttons below um, they help people find me and I am feeling lonely on lockdown so I'd like it if people could find me so I'd have people to talk to in the comments cheers guys um, also below you can see the socials we've got the Twitter the Insta the Patreon all chasing lamely that's that's how that all works um, yeah uh, in the meantime, guys, um, I will see you all very soon. Stay safe, and if you can't stay safe, um, you're doing it wrong. Just stay indoors. Watch more of my stuff. There's loads of content on this channel. Watch all of it. That'll do. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Chasing Lanely. Have a good one.